So hey y'all, welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new to my channel, I make videos about skincare, clothing, and brouhaha. If you guys want to know who my dentist is, I will not be posting that in this video. It won't be here, but I ain't gonna make y'all go through hoops just to freaking know who my dentist is. Just link me on my IG, which is Lickle Sasha, and it will be down in the description box down below. Now, here's one thing about that. Y'all, don't be linking me on my Instagram with your fucking stripper page. I will not respond to you. See, I paid roughly about $5,000 for my veneers with my dentist. Now, everybody's mouth is different. I do not have any cat cavities i don't have any extra work that needs to be done i don't need to sculpt my gums and all that extra shit like you know what i'm saying i don't have to do none of that so this is why it don't matter how much i pay you will probably never pay the same amount as me i just paid for my veneers now if you have cavities and all these extra stuff and more things that you want to get done it will not be the same price so within the $5,000, what was included? So my hotel is included. I don't remember exactly how many days that was. I think it was probably like just a week, probably like, I don't know, five days, five nights or something like that. That was included in my ho in the 5K. And that was it. Their end. Okay, so also they pick you up from the airport and take you back to the airport that is the only thing that is included and they also give you free breakfast at the hotel and there's someone who translate what you're saying in english to your dentist into spanish and vice versa and basically they pick you up for your appointment and you guys just walk to the dental office and that's all that is included in there now like i said in my video now I had to pay for my flight. My flight was about roughly, I would say probably three, four hundred dollars. It's like three fifty or something like that, three, four hundred dollars. And then to add to that, I ended up staying extra days because I believe I ended up staying the weekend and the Monday. And I think I left like Tuesday or Wednesday and I paid the extra hotel out of my own pocket, which brings my tab up to like 6000 Not to only mention that, but like I said, the entire thing. My entire trip was like $6,000. I would say that's how much I spent on my entire everything because I, I got a lot done. And when I say I got a lot done, I mean like I got massages, I got facials, I did my eyebrows, my eyelashes. <laughs> Y'all, I did not do my nails because my nails was already done before I went. So, but yeah, and I have to eat dinner and lunch and stuff like that and the ubers ubers are super inexpensive so that's the breakdown of that um do they do payment plans i don't think so um i didn't do a payment plan i simply just paid my deposit i think my deposit was like 500 but i told him i could pay like three or four hundred dollars today and he said that was fine um not only just that but I was supposed to pay that day to even lock in my appointment, but because, y'all, my stocks paid for my veneers, okay? Like, I sold some stocks. I did what I had to do. Because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I invest. Like, I invest for my goddamn age that I am in this life. And when it was time for me to do my veneers, I sold some of my stocks. Sadly, oh well. It was well worth it. Like my confidence was definitely worth any stock going, any stock going up. I went there with cash. I was very skeptical about even traveling with that much cash on me. To be honest, I probably like how much was it? You know, real rich bitch is probably like big six thousand dollars was a lie. Yeah, so because I I've never been to like this foreign place. I don't know who my driver is. I don't know who the person's picking me up from. I don't I don't know like I don't know anything. So I was kind of like. I ain't even told the dentist I was paying in cash. I told him I was paying in card. He said, oh, there's like a tax. They have to tax you or, and then add like a 3% markup or something like that. So I would end up having to pay even more if I used my, if I didn't pay in cash. So I told him that I'm not going to pay in cash. And basically, yeah. So I'm like, they don't expect me to have no type of cash on me. But when I went there, baby, I forked out that cash. You put that in the cash counting machine and... That's how that shit went about. So one of the questions that somebody asked me down in the comment is that like, can I bite into apples and, and, 
and stuff like that um i could still bite into them i choose not to because it's a little bit more uncomfortable are they sensitive since i got them known i first got them known they were like super sensitive and stuff like that but now they're not that sensitive and and probably like after like a teeth cleaning my teeth are like really sensitive so if i hit them on anything a little bit too hard they do get kind of sensitive but i don't know if that has anything to do with my veneers or just my um my fractures so I'm pretty sure that's just my fractures like i said everybody has their own story and my story is is yes i can bite into an apple yes i can do everything but like i said like i feel like maybe if i didn't break my jaw i i probably would have been more likely to bite into an apple because you get what i'm saying it's like i broke my jaw and my jaw is dead <laughs> so it's like even then, it was hard for me to bite into things. And with my veneer, my veneer gives me added protection and I can bite into things, but I just choose not to because it feels like a lot for me in my jaw right now. Um, yeah. Y'all, so I moved my beach chair out of the sun, right? But the sun decided that it wanted to come for me anyways. And one of the questions that was also asked, I, would, I wouldn't mind going a little bit more in the sun for now or probably like in the shade also right here um <laughs> to move a little bit over more because i don't know the sun really came for me um yeah so i was saying did i have any x-rays and stuff like that no so before i even came to new york city before they even gave me like a price price I had to take like they sent me like mock-ups of pictures and angles that I needed to take off my mouth and I took those pictures of my mouth and stuff like that and after they looked in my mouth they gave me a price keep that in mind like I said my price will not be yours if you don't have if you don't have any cavities anything it could be similar but you never like you get what I'm saying so I took a picture of my mouth and there was no x-rays they didn't ask me for any x-rays before you have a veneers you should know this is that your bite will change your bite is something that will change i remember when i first got my veneers like my veneers <laughs> when i first got my veneers um i would like grind my teeth a lot at night and it would actually like wake me up and i'll be so worried because i didn't want them to crack or anything like that so your bite will change a lot of people be like veneers don't change color but my teeth aren't as white as they were when i first got them done and i'm still within my first year mark and i believe that with time they will get even more darker because keep in mind that you're not you you're not leaving these on your mouth for just six months and a year or even two to four years or even seven years like composite <clears throat> and that's the longest composite can go this is 15 to 20 years maybe like come on now so if you guys are questioning oh my god what shade should i get get the whitest and the brightest baby like they not real teeth don't be trying to act like they are people be trying to act the only thing that i don't like about my veneers is y'all people be up charging me for fucking everything yo i'm out here in jamaica right now i'm jamaican and yeah niggas be up charging me for fucking everything like oh you look like you're rich like or this and this and that and blah. i am not rich don't be charging me rich prices okay so i got my six month teeth cleaning and i do intend to get a teeth clean every single six months and it was pretty standard it's like basically cleaning your regular teeth to be honest after every bite of any food i floss my teeth because like i could feel the food in my teeth and i could just i'm not able to get it with my nails for one i can't get it with anything else but i have to floss it with my teeth and there is a specific way for how you're supposed to floss so the next thing with my veneers is that like i enjoy the fact that <laughs> yeah i be seeing videos i don't know y'all know sukiana if that's really her name because to be honest i don't be with the ratchet girls i be with sweetie let me <laughs> Blue blue G ones, let me stop. But um yeah, so I Sukiana made a video about how she was cracking and busting down some crab legs and like her veneers basically cracked, y'all. Her veneers cracked and I'm really out here like damn, maybe I shouldn't be eating crab legs. But yeah, sometimes I be out here busting down my food, I be chewing ice, I be doing all types of ish that my doctor recommended me not to do. 
And I don't do it very often, but baby, when I do it, I do it very, like, I do it carefully. I'm not going to be like, huh, huh. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be out here busting them down like that. But I haven't had any problems, and I am grateful for that, and I am just thankful. And I'm going to go knock some tree because, you know, you know, it's when you talk about it, something ain't going to happen, right? So I'm going to go find me a real tree, which ain't that far, y'all. Say hi to this lizard. And I'm not gonna because ain't nothing coming between me and my veneers right now. I'm just trying to make sure that I answered all these questions that you guys asked me because I hope I went into the finance part enough because people be like, how did you pay for your veneers? I sold some stocks. Um, when I said some, I just, and to be very frank, I sold some of my Tesla stocks, and the Tesla stocks was a little bit higher up. Yeah, I sold my my sh what is it, Shopify stock. My I have more, <laughs> I have more Tesla, I have more shops, <laughs> but I still sold like a, some of them. So, and I know some of you guys are probably a little bit on the younger side, and you know, trying to figure out, you know, how to afford it and stuff like that, but. Go shake that ass. Let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you guys once again for watching my video today. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any additional questions, please just ask them down below in the comment section. My Instagram will be in the description box down below. Like, share, and subscribe. If there's anything you can do for this video, because it's like, y'all, uh, I'm giving y'all free game. Free game. Free of charge. <laughs> Just thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel and that's about it. And have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good Christmas. Thanksgiving. Easter. Good Friday. <laughs>